What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing the Salvation Project. I think I'm going to be saving Kermit the Frog from a demon, which is a sentence I never thought I would say in my entire life. Let's play. Oh, and there you are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. My name is Seth and today's public service announcement is dedicated to your fears. It's a little weird, but okay. This program is brought to you by The Salvation Project. Cool. And what fear are we going to be discussing today? Um, the lassophobia. That's like the only fear that I know of that I actually have. Oh, spiders, the nuclear war, or Satanism? Out of all of these, I would probably say the nuclear war is the scariest. That's right. Satanism. Okay, well, I was wrong. Satanism is a great danger to our citizens. And we all should be on our toes. Okay. It's a danger to our souls, to our world, and our way of living. And you this say so. danger strikes where it hurts most, our children. Of course, everybody, whenever they try to fear monger, they should they put kids into it. They gotta put kids into it. Cheap tactic, bro. To what make else sure you gotta your say? Kids are safe, you should locate the satanic objects in your household before it's too late. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this looks pretty satanic, doesn't it? The typical satanic object includes satanic audio tapes, satanic posters, or satanic books. Sorry to burst your bubble there, Kermit, but I don't have any of those. Beware, these can be hidden in plain sight. Okay. And on that, we wish your family luck in searching and destroying the threats inside your home. Oh. Be careful, because if you don't care, they will. Who's that? This has been a broadcast from the Salvation Project. Until next time, Seth out. Take it easy, Seth. Nice to see ya. Have a good one. You and your low resolution self. My name is Karen. This does raise a concern. I think I saw something that could be satanic in my son's room upstairs. I have to uh, I have to investigate immediately. Okay, well. The music, though. Okay, this is like true PlayStation graphics style. Even like the frame rate seems to be similar. What? Oh, that's a phone. I was like, what the hell is that? Oh. For some reason, that cross is unsettling to me. It's incredibly unsettling. Listen, guys, for those of you that don't know, I, I guess I consider myself agnostic. And basically, that just means, whoa, why, why is that light switch? so long whether i put it up or i put it down that doesn't make me feel any better it just looks wrong either way as i was saying i consider myself agnostic whoa i'm going out oh look i got a little halo above my head i'm an angel i'm a beautiful wonderful disgusting shitty angel yeah so basically i don't necessarily believe in god at least in the way that most people do i believe in god in my own way what is this a giant piece of bacon over my car yeah don't get me wrong i'm not one of those guys that's like god doesn't exist and you're wrong if you think i should go look for these demonic items in my son's you're right i'm neglecting exactly what i need to do here yeah when i was like 16 i was that type of dude that was like militant atheist like trying to debunk uh, religion and God and all that stuff. But as I've gotten older, I've realized that I'm afraid to go outside. What if there are demons there? You're right. You're right. How could I have missed? How could I have not thought of that? So I'm going to try to finish what I was saying before I continue any further. As I grew older, I kind of got over the whole, you know, atheist mentality of like, you have to disprove religion at every turn. It's a little bit cringe, honestly. Like let people, let people believe what they want to believe. I mean, religion and God and spirituality, it's all like in a way subjective. People have like their own ideas and things that make them happy about their religion or their spirituality. So I've kind of come to that conclusion myself. I have my own idea of what it all could be or couldn't be. But a pro tip to you guys, if you're an atheist, you don't believe in that type of stuff and like religion and God and all that, just keep it to yourself. Don't bother anyone else. Let them live their life. In this door. I don't need to go there right now. You didn't explain to me where there is. I don't need to go there either. Well, where the hell is my son's room, my dude? Oh, I don't really need to go to the bathroom. Another bathroom. Can I turn this on? Yes. Another super long for no reason light switch. This must be my son's room. Whoa. That's a pretty cool ceiling. Kind of dig that. That's not bad. So I gotta find something satanic. Is this it? 
What is that? This is a Mentalica audio tape. Sure does look satanic. It is definitely dangerous. Now, there are two more satanic objects to find. What else could there be? Oh, a Mentalica poster. This is a Mentalica poster. What a terrifying poster. I better take it down. Now, there's one more satanic object to find. Where could this final satanic object be? What? Okay, you have nothing to say about that one. Well, I'm assuming it's this. This is a rule book for a board game, Dungeons and Demons. If this isn't an indoctrination book, I don't know what is. I think that's all of them. I should just burn it in the furnace in the garage. All right, all right. Well, they're taking my son's personal belongings and destroying them without him knowing. That's a wonderful, beautiful thing to do. Yeah, wonderful. Keep doing it. That's good. Go. Why am I having so much trouble talking tonight? I don't know. Let's go burn this stupid stuff. Here we go. There's the poster, the CD, and the book. Burn, burn, burn. There's no place for Satan in my home. Now that the job is done, I can finally rest near the TV again. Another day done right. Is that literally all you've done, Karen? That is all you've done today, Karen? What a waste of a day. And now you're going to go waste it even more by sitting in front of the TV like a couch potato. You know what? I can't front. I would probably do the same. If given the opportunity, I would love to just sit back and redo. In today's news, there was an event of greatest importance today. Jonathan Wazas gave us his inaugural speech in which he... Okay, I guess I'm falling asleep standing up. Is that what's happening? Oh, there you are again. Yet again, Ladies very low resolution. Well my name is Seth, and today's public service announcement is dedicated to energy consumption. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. Okay. So, as we previously stated, energy consumption is an extremely important issue. That it is. However, sometimes we have to ignore it to protect ourselves from the evils of the world. I don't know as if I trust know, this guy. Satanism has started to rapidly grow in our communities. Since our last program, many of our viewers relate to us their successes of protecting their house from the devil's propaganda. Mm -hmm. But that is not enough. It's as not. Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. The devil comes at the devil's hour. But using science, our specialists discovered that the correct time of the devil's hour is 8 p.m. The devil time. fears the light. Even the smallest darkness can bring the devil. So we shall shine the light on it and bring safety to our homes. You got we it. implore you, turn on every light in your home until 8 p.m. and make your house safer. The devil shall not pass. That sounds fun. Be careful, fun. because if you don't care, they will. I get it. You don't have to be so this close up, dude. This was a project program. Until the next time, Seth out. Take it easy, Seth. Nice to see you again. Still in very low resolution. Oh, no. It's almost 8 p.m. I should do something before it's too late. I have to turn on the lights in the places where we sleep so the devil does not invade us when we are not awake. But the corridors are equally important. So I should probably light them too. Oh, joyous day. Let me turn on my all my extremely long, elongated light switches for whatever reason. Boom. Do I go into literally every room or do I just just the hallways, just the bedrooms? Is there a light switch in here? Aha. Uh -huh. Boom. Oh, it actually looks a lot better lit up like this. I wonder what my son is going to think when he comes home and finds all of his personal beloved belongings. Destroyed completely. All in the name of protecting my home. I don't need to go there right now. What I gotta do is go wherever Satan is not. And I have to uh, find every light switch in the house apparently to do so. Is this my room? Is that what you're telling me? Kablamski. Amira. Okay, did we just move, it, move in? Oh, another picture piece. Am I gonna have to find all of those? One could only assume I'm getting out of here. And this way... I don't need to go there. Uh, I didn't need to go here. So into the son's room. What the hell, guys? What are you doing? Why would you just up and leave like that? Whatever. Lights on. Where are the lights? Here we go. Boom. And. Oh, no. I think the power went out because of the overload. I should go down to the garage and restart the power. Well, can I still... Why did the light switch just permanently? Okay, you know something. Getting the hell out of this hellish room and going downstairs to the hellish basement. No Satan is going to come into my home. Shut off my lights. 
I don't need to go there. Where's the basement? How am I supposed to find this? Um. Why am I so slow? That was weird. Is that where it told me to go? To the basement? Or was it in the garage? I think... I think Karen said the garage. Sorry, that was my bad. Was this always here? I don't remember this being here. I think I almost died. It was so dark. Something definitely was in here. Good thing I managed to bring the light back to my house. I should go and rest. And watch the TV again, let me guess. Yep. Watch that stupid Seth say his stupid stuff that makes no stupid sense. Oh! Hey. Oh, hello there, missus. Hey, Seth. I believe you found yourself in a bit of a situation. Why are you here? How did you get inside? Why? Mrs., this is an emergency. And a big one, I might say. Okay. I came here to help you get rid of the demons in your home. I see you've been watching my programs and following them. Starting to get second thoughts about doing what you say, bud. Even if you're afraid of the nuclear war, it's not imminent and does not rely on your participation. However, this problem does. Okay, you make a good point. Satan is very much real and is nearing your home. Perhaps you noticed the signs already. Not really. The lights, your son's behavior, and however more that you don't notice. And I am here to help you with the protection of your home. Well, thank you, Seth. Okay. But well, why me? Isn't everyone in danger? Why help me in particular? Silly. I am helping everyone. I've already helped countless people. And you are just another lucky child of God who gets the special treatment. This is weird, dude. Now. It was hard for your nerves today already. Go yeah. to sleep now. I will guard it with my life. After you wake up, there is much to be done. I'm supposed to go to sleep when you broke into my house? Well, apparently. Apparently I am. Apparently it's just happening. Oh. Am I dreaming this? Welcome, everyone! Oh my god, Seth. You gotta relax. My name is Seth, and today's public service announcement is dedicated to... The signs of Satan in your house! <laughs> Said that with such, like, happiness this and glee. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. Okay. As you should know, the devil is coming! Jesus, and we should all dude. be protecting ourselves and our loved ones from the devil. Check your windows! Check your windows! Board them up! Board them up! You don't gotta yell, man! Satan shall not pass! Check your crosses! Make sure they are not inverted! Check your mirrors, cover them up! Satan shall not pass! Satan shall not pass! Be careful, because if you don't care... They, they will, I get this it! This was a Salvation Project program. <sighs> Until next time, set out! Take it easy, Seth. Really don't appreciate the yelling. Oh, and there you are again. I don't like that you move. What a charmer, huh? Sure is an energetic fella. You're talking about yourself, pal. But he is right. You should get on your feet and start covering them windows. <laughs> you Maybe got check it. check your garage for instruments and materials. You're bound to have something. Oh. I also remember you having a cross in here nearby, as well as a mirror in your room. So what are you waiting for? Go, Wait. go, go! Wait, dude. How do you know that? All right, so do I do the cross first? Oh my god, it was turned, just like he said. He probably did it. I should fix it immediately. There we go, look at that. That's better. I need to find one more rotated cross. Where could that possibly be? You know, something, Seth, you... You mentioned how you know that I have these things in my home. Yet, I don't understand how you could. Did you rummage through my belongings while I was asleep? Not really cool, man. I get that you're trying to help me and all that good stuff, but... He kind of just barged in here without any permission and started doing stuff. Anything here? Any wood? Uh, yeah, these planks should be enough to cover all the windows in the house. Now I need to find a hammer and some nails. They must be around somewhere. I think these are nails, no? It looks like nails. Okay, this hammer should do just fine. The nails are just the size I need to. These are all the materials I'll need. I have to find all the windows. Okay, that should be easy. I gotta also find one more inverted cross and cover up my mirror. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, uh, dude. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Help yourself to whatever's in that room that I have no idea what it is. That room. Let's go ahead and board up all these windows. One more window down. Or one more. One window down. Five more to go. There we go. There we go. Boom. Do this one. And I think that's all I can do in this room. Seth, I'll be back to punch you in the mouth. Right. Just you wait. I'm going upstairs to board my windows. Game is kind of weird in a charmingly silly way. And in a way, it is almost calming. Does that make any sense? Boom. Probably some windows in here. And he, yep, here we go. Boom. One more window down, three more to go. Why are the numbers in quotations? I'll never know. Only two left. Those gotta be in my room. That's the only thing that I can think. So let's go over there and not get attacked by Satan himself, who apparently is very polite, walking slowly and cautiously through my house. Let's cover this up. How? Oh, that's how. It just happens on its own. Okay. Well, we got you. One more window down, one more to go. Where's... What was that thing? It's not here. What? What are you talking about? You're making no sense. What is happening? Why are the lights off? <gasps> oh, how would I get away from such a thing? All right, Satan. Well, you got me. Okay, I guess so. Oh, I haven't been in here yet. This is an entirely new room and another piece of the picture. Oh, another inverted cross, ha! It was the last one. Now I only need the window and here it is. That's it for windows. I think that's it. Now the house is impenetrable to demons. I think. Should go and see Seth. Yep. Let's go. I'm so excited. Oh, Seth, I've done it. I see you have completed your mission. Yes. And most importantly, you are still alive. Yes. I was attacked twice. How can you be so insensitive? I am not insensitive. I'm just doing my job. And my job is to keep you safe. Gotta relax, Mrs. man. You should not anger the one who gives you salvation. Okay. You look tired. You <laughs> should go to sleep. Uh, but I don't want to sleep. I need to understand. Go to sleep. I really don't trust this. It's just happening yet again. This is weird, dude. This is bizarre. Hey there, missus. Oh, so now you're talking to me directly. I see you're back again for the daily wisdom. <laughs> Screaming you at me. You are under attack. Okay. Your life is under attack. Okay. Your soul is under attack. We All have right. to go for the nuclear option. You have to call for help. You got Luckily, it. Luckily, our manager knows the correct ritual to summon a guardian angel for your home. Sounds Do promising. It now. Do it. Now! Okay. Oh, you're not even gonna tell me goodbye like you usually do? Wow, Seth, you've changed, man. You've changed over the minutes. Hello? Why is everything red? Focus now. Get the chalk and candles from storage. Lighter from the kitchen and don't forget the lighter. The storage room is right across the corridor. Then, and only then, get back to me. And we'll begin the ritual. Dude, I don't... Oh, uh, 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 you're defending against the sea bear attack, I think? I don't understand, dude. I don't understand at all whatsoever. How do you know what's in my house, by the way? I don't even know what's in my house. So to get something from the garage, right? I don't remember what I need. I need to find candles and chalk in the storage. Nothing else matters now. You got it. This one. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Oh, it's about to go down, dude. think I got chalk. Where are the candles at? Seth, you know more about my house than I do. Can you tell me where the candles are? Why do I have so much white paint in my house? There were like seven buckets in the garage. What is this? Another... The lights are not coming on. I need to do what says Seth says quickly. All right, but the problem lies. I need candles, right? Isn't that the last thing I needed? I mean, realistically, guys, I've done my fair share of searching in here, and I can't seem to find a single candle. So maybe they were included with the chalk. They looked somewhat candle-like. Let's just go see Seth. Maybe he has the answer. Oh, Seth. That's it. Now draw the sacred pentagram and place the candles on the edges of the forsaken star. 
The Lord demands it! The Lord is coming! But is it a pentagram? Okay, you know what? I don't care. We're doing it. This is so bizarre. Yes! Yes! Now the time has come! Your soul will be ours! The Salvation Project, it is finally completed! The Hollow Star has awakened, and you were its originator! Perish, you naive witch! And succumb to the will of our Dark Lord! But I'm the one who released him! Can't I get a prize or be spared, please? No? I'm just gonna get eaten by Satan himself. Okay, well, I just got bitch slapped. Oh. I'm awake! Phone time, hello. Ma'am, hello ma'am, can you hear me? You stopped responding to my, uh, You stopped responding to my calls a week ago. Is everything okay? Do you take your medication daily? I need help. I want to see my family again. What? Well then. That was one of the most bizarre experiences I think I've ever had at playing a horror game. But you know, as weird as it was, it was charmingly fun. A bit long-winded at times, and I think it could have definitely been condensed a little bit, but overall, I enjoyed it. It was fun to play. It's one of those horror games that's mainly humorous and not much else, and I enjoy finding games like that, so this one gets a thumbs up from me. The ending is a little strange to me. I mean, it seems like maybe the whole time Karen or the person you're playing as was hallucinating the whole thing because of medication either because of medication or a lack thereof so i think that's kind of what ties everything together could be wrong but that's what i gathered basically overall not a bad experience if you guys enjoyed this and you want to try the game yourself i'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description otherwise that's it for me thanks everyone so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button down below if you did don't be afraid to leave me a comment let me know how you feel smack that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.